Now, ahead of its primary election, New Nigeria pa People's Party said that arrangements have been concluded to conduct its first gubernatorial primary in Katsina. With three aspirants contesting for the seat, only one will emerge victorious. The vice chairman of NNPP Katsina State Chapter, Dauda Kurfi, said that they are confident that the party will replace the two major political parties. Jamil Mabai has more. New Nigeria's People's Party, NNPP, have concluded arrangements for tomorrow's primary election. The new party believed that their primary election will be bribery free and fair. Well, we are on high spirit and uh, all preferences are on top gear for tomorrow's primary election. We have three contestants, three aspirants, uh, aspirants for the seat of uh, governorship. And uh, the party is well prepared, and the uh, delegates and the party officials are all ready. We are hoping to have a Ranko free convention, a bribery free convention. Ours is not a convention where the highest bidder takes the day. We are hoping to produce credible people. The party has received two seven House of Representative members from the All Progressive People Congress. He described the two major political parties as a cult like party. Yeah, NPP, NNPP is already a force to reckon with. We have already received uh, two seven members in the House of Representatives uh, to the NPP. Uh, what this means is that uh, these two uh, so-called major political parties have turned themselves into a cult-like organizations. They have turned themselves into a a sort of a private company or a private liability company. One of the aspirants, Engineer Nura Khalil, a one-time flag bearer of all Nigeria's People's Party, promised to reposition governance in Katsina State. But I believe uh, for our own party, it's going to be different. Uh, because what you have, uh, like minds, you know, who are tired of uh, what is uh, happening in, in, in PDP, APC, who are the major parties, you know, and uh, are looking for viable alternative. So I believe uh, what will uh, happen tomorrow will be that uh, our delegates will, re will really look at uh, competence, you know, experience, you know, to decide on uh, who to uh, elect. Well, for Kazuna State, I think uh, two or three uh, issues will be of priority. Uh, first and foremost will be the security of uh, life and property issue. I think the next thing will be for us, you know, to build a foundation for a sustainable uh, uh, state in terms of development and also internally generated revenue. Well, uh, I think I have been tried and uh, trusted as well. I don't want to blow my trumpet, but uh, over time, I believe my credentials speaks very well for, for, for me. Uh, you recall in 2003, I came uh, second after Moro Musa Radwa, even though we know very well that we actually won the election. But Jamila Mabai, Trust TV News. Kasena.